हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दैनल टेक्नो स्पॉट दिस इज मी हरीश गौपाले इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गॉन अ टेल यू हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट ऑल द बेसिक लॉजिक गेट्स सच एज एंड गेट और गेट नैंड गेट नॉर गेट एक्स और गेट एंड एक्स नॉर गेट बाई यूजिंग वन इज टू टू डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑल दिस लॉजिक गेट्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सम ऑफ द लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ऑल द गेट्स as well as logical expression of 1 is to 2d marks and also uh, we are going to use some of the boolean algebra laws okay so let's get start with the first gate that is and gate okay so here on screen uh, you can see the truth table of and gate what it tells you know that if both inputs are high output will be high and uh, behind that you can see the logical expression that is q is equal to a and b okay so to implement this logic gate we'll draw 1 is to 2 dmux uh, on the screen you can see 1 is to 2 dmux here uh, in and gate we are having two inputs a and b and output is q so here also in 1 is to 2 dmux you can see i have selected uh, b as a select line for this 1 is to 2 dmux and a as a input so based on the select line b my output will be routes input will be routes to the output so we are having two outputs so i have given name uh, q1 and q0 uh, if you see q1 is equal to a and b that means when select line b is equal to 1 so a will be routes to the q1 so logical expression will become a and b okay uh, similarly for q0 that the, the, this time b is 0 so means it will be v bar and a will be routes to the q0 so logical expression will become a and b bar and uh, you know logical expression of and we have a and b so we got this a and b uh, from the q1 of 1 is to 2d max so this is how we have implemented and gate okay now we'll implement the uh, nand gate uh, so here you can see the truth table of nand gate uh, it is nothing but inverse of and gate and below that you can see the logical expression q is equal to a and b whole bar okay so to implement this nand gate we will draw uh, 1 is to 2d max here you can see on the screen 1 is to 2d max so basically this first 1 is to d 1 uh, is to 2d max uh, is, is for the and gate uh, we have already seen this in the and gate itself b when uh, here b is the select line and a is the uh, input so based on b a will be routes to the q0 and q1 so in q1 we got a and b so now we have connected this a and b as a select line for this uh, second one is to do dmax and here also we are having same output q0 and q1 so uh, based on this select line a and b uh, this one will be route to uh, to the output q0 so in uh, q0 output you can see 1 and a and b whole bar so as per the identity law uh, in a and 1 always a so here instead of a we are having a and b whole bar so in output a and b b bar will get the output uh, so as per the truth table of nand gate and logical expression a and b whole bar we got output from this q0 um the main thing is that here we don't need to worry about this q1 okay uh, we we uh, we are we are just here to implement the logic gate so we are getting output from this 1 is 2 to d max or i can say combination of 1 is 2 to d max so that is fine okay now uh, we are going to implement or gate so here you can see the truth table of or gate uh, what it tells if any one input is high output will be high and you can see behind that logical expression q is equal to a plus b so to implement this or gate we'll draw uh, 1 is to 2 uh, dmax uh, so on the screen you can see uh, the combination of 1 is to 2 dmax is we are having uh, so we'll understand um, working of each 1 is to 2 dmax okay so first uh, let's understand this one is to do remax here you can see i have uh, selected input b as a select line for this one is to do remax so based on select line b uh, one will be routes to the output and each um, dmax ha having same outputs q0 and q1 
so for this d box q0 you can see 1 and b bar because of this 0 it will become b bar and as per the ident identity law it will be b bar only okay uh, when b is equal to 1 so output will be 1 and b similarly um, for this one is to d max my uh, input a is the select line so in the output q0 1 will be route with a bar because of this is because of this 0 and um, q in q1 1 will be route with a only so now for this one is to d max the output of this uh, first one is to d max b bar is the select line and uh, um, from the second one is to d max the output q0 will be the input for this third one is to d max so based on, now here my select line is b bar so in q0 my output will be what a bar and b bar and whole bar because select line is already b bar and here here again uh, it becomes double uh, here it becomes double bar so it is become a bar and b bar bar okay uh, when uh, based on uh, select line when uh, b bar uh, the q1 will be a bar and b bar okay now we'll uh, now uh, this is the fourth one is to d max so we'll connect the output of this q1 q1 output of this third one is to d max as a select line and one will be the input so now uh, the uh, here we are having a bar and b bar as the output of this q1 now we'll connect this as a select line now the uh, you can see the working of this one is fourth one is to d max here q0 will be a bar and b bar whole bar okay one and a bar and b bar and whole bar uh, as per the identity law it will become a bar and b bar whole bar okay to break this um, uh, uh, a bar b bar whole bar uh, we know d morgan's theorem says that a plus b bar is equal to a bar and a bar similarly a and b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar so if we if we break this bar so it will become a bar bar plus b bar bar okay and uh, as per the double negation law double negation law means what a double complement of a variable is always equal to that variable so a is having um, double complement so it will become a b is having double complement it will become b so uh, as per the truth table or logic expression of this or gate we got the output from this fourth one is to 2 d max so to implement this or gate we here we needed four one is to 2 d max okay so now uh, we are going to implement the nor gate by using one is to 2 d max okay for that here you can see the truth table of nor gate uh, it is nothing but inversion of or gate okay below that you can see the logical expression of uh, nor gate that is q is equal to a plus b bar okay so to implement this nor gate we'll draw 1 is to 2 d max okay uh, here on the screen you can see uh, i have taken here 5 1 is to 2 d max because to implement the or gate we needed 4 1 is to 2 d max okay so let's understand uh, working of each 1 is to 2 d max okay so this is the first 1 is to 2 d max where i have um, taken b input b as a select line and uh, 1 as a input so based on select line b one will be routes to the output uh, so uh, so for that um, here i am having two outputs for this first one is to do d max q0 and q1 so q0 will be equal to 1 and b bar because uh, here b is a 0 that is b bar and q1 be, q1 will be equal to 1 and b similarly the second one is to do d max here um, my input a as a select line and one as a input so based on select line a one will be routes to the output q0 and q1 so similarly like this uh, one is to two d max will get output from second one is to two d max okay now to this third one is to do d max what we did what i did i have connected output q0 from the first to first one is to do d max as a select line so for this one is to do d max b bar is the select line and a bar is the input so based on the b bar uh, my a bar will be routes to the uh, output q0 and q1 so here q0 equal, you can see uh, a bar and b bar and again bar 
okay so and q1 will be a bar and b bar only so now the output of this uh, q1 of this third one is to do d max is the uh, in uh, select line for this fourth one is to or uh, 2d max so if it is select line a bar and b bar so in the output uh, you can see uh, in output uh, based on select line uh, input 1 will be routes to the um, q0 and q1 so here we have taken q0 only q0 is equal to 1 and a bar and b bar and the whole bar okay now if you solve this uh, we'll get a plus b as we saw this equation or, uh, while implementing or get okay now this or get a plus b is the select line for this fifth one is to do d max and the one will be the uh, input so based on the select line a plus b one will be route to the q0 and q1 so here you can see q0 is equal to 1 and a plus b whole bar okay as as, as per the identity law uh, a and 1 always a so here instead of a we are having a plus b so a plus b and 1 is equal to a plus b bar only so as per the truth table or logical expression of nor gate we got the output from this fifth one is to 2d max okay now we'll implement uh, x nor gate by using one is to 2d max so for that you can see the truth table of x nor gate what it tells if uh, both inputs are same then only output will be high okay so the logical expression for this x nor gate will be a and b bar plus a and b because you can see when both are zero then only we are getting output as high when both are one then only we are getting output as high so that is the that's why the logical expression is a bar and b bar plus a and b so to implement this x nor gate we will draw combination of one is to two d max uh, on the screen you can see i am having combination of one is to two d max here i am uh, here we need it 8 1 is to 2d max to implement this x nor gate okay so let's understand working of each 1 is to 2d max so this is my first uh, 1 is to 2d max where i am where i am having input b as a select line and input as a 1 so based on select line b 1 will be routes so my q0 output will be b bar as per the identity law 1 1 and b bar is equal to b bar only and q1 will be q1 will be is equal to b so this q0 output we are going to use for the next one is to do dmux this is my second one is to do dmux where uh, my input is uh, my select line is a and input is one so based on select line a one will be routes to the output q0 and q1 so here q0 you can see a bar q1 is a uh, this is my third one is to do the marks where uh, my input b are my select line and uh, input a will be routes based on select line b so my q0 output will be a and b bar because here is zero that's why it is b bar and output q1 mm, is equal to a and b so from this third is third one is to do the marks we are going to use output q1 for the next one is to do the marks okay now this is my fourth one is to do d max where uh, for this one is to do d max my select line is b bar and input is a bar so uh, here uh, q0 what will it, what it will become q0 will become a bar b bar and whole bar but uh, we don't need use q0 output for further use that's why i didn't write but here you can see output q1 is equal to a bar and b bar okay now, now this is my fifth one is to do d max where uh, input is one and my select line is uh, output of this third one is to do d max q1 output of this third one is to do d max so based on the select line a and b uh, my q0 i will get q0 and q1 output so here i need q0 output only that's why i have write q0 output my q0 output will be a and b whole bar and one so as per the identity law it will be a and b bar only okay now uh, this is my sixth one is to do d max where uh, the output of this uh, fourth one is to do d max a q1 output of this fourth one is to do d max a bar and b bar is the select line so based on select line uh, this one will be route to these uh, both outputs that is q0 and q1 here here we need q0 output 
we don't need q1 output so we'll see the q0 output that is my select line is a bar and b bar and one so as per the identity law it will be a bar and b bar and the whole bar because of this zero okay now this seventh uh, one is to do d max for the seventh one is to do d max my select line is a bar and b bar whole bar and the input is a and b bar so uh, here we need um, q0 uh, output because we are going to use that so my q0, q1 output q1 output is a and b bar this a and b bar uh, and and a bar and b bar and whole bar okay so q1 output is equal to a and b bar whole bar and a and b bar whole bar okay now this q1 output is the select line for this eighth one is to two d max and the input is one so based on select line one will be routes to the output q0 and q1 so from this q0 output we are going to finalize our uh, final logical expression for this xnor gate so that's why we have considered only q0 output so now the q0 output will be a and b bar and uh, a bar and b bar whole bar and again the whole bar okay and one will be route switch so one and this whole bar so as per that in law it will be this logical expression only so now as per the de morgan's theorem this bar will be breaks into the or gate and uh, splits into two bars okay so now with the logical expression we are having a and b bar again bar plus or, or a bar and b bar bar and bar so as per the um, double negation uh, law this bar will get cancelled so final expression will be a and b plus a bar and b bar so as per the logical expression of xnor gate we got the final logical expression from this eighth one is to b max so this is how we have implemented xnor gate by using um, one is to do d max so if you see we have implemented all the logic gates from and gate uh, that is and gate or gate nand gate nor gate xor gate and 